morning. Good morning, kids. Time to go. Gold Parade really has turned into something bigger than I would have ever imagined. I think the community and the county of Door, for that matter, is thrilled by that because it's amazing to me how something so simple and so little can turn into something so tremendous for the whole area. It's a beautiful day for a goat parade. I think one of the things that works really well for us is that we work with a lot of the local goat farmers and so we're able to every year do something a little bit better and it's important for us to reach out to our customer base and, and the community and people are always asking questions about the goats and how they're taking, how we take care of them, where they live. Uh, we have a, a traditional Wisconsin farm, a big red uh, barn, and they have uh, 40 acres that they graze on uh, when they're not on the roof, and it, it, it's only about five or 10 minutes from the, from the restaurant location. Every spring, there's always a, a new group of uh, baby kid goats. The goats actually live on our family's farm. I never dreamed I would be a part-time goat farmer, if you will, but I, I think that really the whole concept of Goat Parade is something that has really, really taken off and it's turned into a big event in early June. Um, one of the things about Goat Parade is that it's always subject to weather. Um, I have found out over the years that goats do not like the rain and they don't even poke their head out of the barn when it's raining. Goat Fest has become an integral part of Goat Parade. We have a lot of green area for families to have family games, a lot of small plates offerings, and it's just a real fun family uh, weekend, and I encourage everybody to be a part of it. <laughs> goat Parade, beautiful downtown Sister Bay. Come and see us, come and see our goats, come and eat our food, come and drink our drinks.